Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Troy Sellers, who's a staff solution architect at Ivan. Ivan is a company that offers a fully managed open source cloud data platform. And Troy joins us today to tell us a little bit more about the company's offerings and role in the market. Thanks for joining us today, uh, Troy, and welcome to the jam. Hey, uh, thanks for having me, Mitchell. No worries. So just to um, start off, for a business that hasn't worked with Ivan before, what are some of your key products and offerings? Yeah, so Ivan is the leader in open source data technologies offered as a managed service uh, on public cloud. What that means is we enable customers to focus on the problems that their customers have instead of focusing on the problems that their engineering teams might have when they're operating these services. Uh, Mitchell, you probably know that open source technology can be downloaded and operated by anyone free of charge. That's one of the beautiful things about it. Um, but what's not spoken about is the operational burden that customers start to, you know, they start to see when they do that. Like a, a simple database is quite often easy to start up and run. But when you're running that uh, at scale in production across multiple, you know, availability zones, uh, you want it highly available, then quite often that can become pretty tricky. And that's where Ivan steps in and, and takes that load off our customers' shoulders. The thing I'd probably love most about Ivan actually is our full commitment to open source. And this is evidence last year, um, we, we announced our Series C round of funding. We immediately announced the creation of the open source project office, which is a collection of people in our engineering organ organization that is 100% committed to uh, giving back to the open source community in code. Uh, and so it's a really nice part, part of a uh, organization to be on. Absolutely. And in terms of your most recent uh, improvements and innovations in the offerings at Ivan? Yeah, a, a number of recent announcements have really shown us walking the talk on our promise to the open source community. And an interesting sort of thing about the open source project office is one of the things they do is think a lot about the licensing, the trademarking, the contribution, all the things that go behind making sure you can operate these services the way you would like to and the way our customers would like to. And that means they can adopt these services without worrying about any of the licensing um, details of perhaps running that service on behalf of other customers as well. It, it can, be, can be kind of interesting. So we really handle that side of it as well. Um, it gives them the confidence to operate, I guess, in the way they choose. Uh, this year, just recently in September, actually, we announced an acquisition of, of a project called KafkaWise. We brought that into the open source project office as well. It's a governance tool for Apache Kafka customers. Uh, what's fantastic about that is it allows, you know, customers that distribute that across their business, the ability to control uh, in a, in a in a predictable manner how that grows in their business, which, which was a problem that we were hearing from our customers. Uh, we're really proud to maintain the stewardship of that project and continue it in its open source tradition. Uh, and recently, most recently, we entered the uh, cloud data warehousing market, which is pretty exciting for us. We, we now offer a, a service in beta, uh, which is Ivan for ClickHouse, massively scalable uh, analytics data database. Uh, so that's super exciting for our customers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting stuff. And congratulations on the acquisition. Thanks. <laughs> no worries. And um, in terms of the trends uh, your product development teams are focusing on at the moment, uh, what are they? Yeah, we when you think about what we do here at Ivan, uh, we offer an end-to-end -end data solution uh, that covers all the needs that an application developer would have. So we're really established with traditional relational databases, things like Postgres and MySQL. Uh, our adoption of our Kafka service is, is excellent. Uh, and we've recently added a service called Apache Flink. Flink is an excellent tool that handles some of those data processing uh, use cases that our customers have. It dovetails beautifully uh, with our Mirror Maker service and our Kafka Connect service and, and provides an ecosystem around Kafka that really helps our customers, you know, realize the value of, of capturing and processing uh, data streams inside their organization. Uh, we're spending a lot on our non-relational database services at the moment as well, things like Redis, OpenSearch, Cassandra, M3. Uh, and so that's really helping our customers capture, you know, really significantly large amounts of data and get value out of that. And of course, you know, with the ClickHouse service, it really rounds that platform out completely well. Yeah. And what are some of your infrastructural resources on the APAC market in particular? 
Yeah, it's it's a good question because I think when you think about infrastructure, like I, I'm a computer guy, I think about, you know, physical resources. And so we operate on all major cloud platforms. And that means that if you're looking for infrastructure in a particular region, if you know, if if one of the hyperscalers are operating that, you can you can operate Ivan uh, on that service, which is really nice for our customers. Um, when I think about resources, well, APAC is a is a very strategic market. For, for us here at Ivan, and we're investing heavily. In the last 12 months, uh, we've had a 200% increase in headcount, uh, which is super exciting. And, and that's paid dividends already. We have a 100% increase in revenue, uh, which is a, a nice part, a nice thing to be a part of as well. Um, we are really looking forward to investing in the startup community in APAC. With our, we've recently announced our startup program called Cluster. Now, Cluster enables uh, startups to get uh, up to $100,000 in data infrastructure as part of um, being that partnership with Ivan. But it also opens up our, in, our business and our talent pool for them as advisors as well. So you can think about what we do. We've got a lot of talent in, in some of the services we offer and we can make that available to those startups that are part of that program as well. Finally, it creates a collaborative community. Uh, so again, they can talk to other founders and understand what the challenges there are as well. Uh, we've been sponsoring things like the Smart 50 Rising Stars in Australia awards uh, to support that um, kind of high growth startup market. And we've been actively developing um, relationships with the developer communities uh, around the region as well, it's really trying to foster the adoption of open source technology. Lastly, we have a lot of strategic ar arrangements with, you know, um, with partners around the region, especially the hyperscalers, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. Uh, most recently, well, last week, I think we just announced uh, our, as you um, Azure Marketplace offering, which is really exciting for Microsoft customers uh, if they want to adopt uh, open source technologies in, in the Azure public cloud, then, then they can now do that through Ivan uh, and procure those services in the way that they used to, just through the marketplace with Microsoft. Awesome. Some great uh, growth initiatives there. Really um, looking forward to hearing more in the future. In terms of um, the Crab logo, what's the <laughs> Crab logo? Yeah, it's it might be my favorite thing about Ivan, actually. Um, when the founders started the business, they obviously thought about all the technology and everything that needed to run uh, a successful startup. Uh, and they came to this part about, well, what is our visual identity? What, what is our brand? Um, we had the name Ivan, uh, but we didn't really have a logo. And they, there was some back and forth. There was a design that was based around the letter A. A little bit boring. Uh, and then one of our creative agencies at the time was like, hey, what, what do you think about this little crab? Uh, there was uh, there was a split decision uh, in the in in the board, uh, in the in the founders meeting. Uh, and so the the deciding vote apparently was cast to our CEO, Oscari's three-year-old daughter. And she immediately went with the crab. And I'm forever thankful for her because I think it's fantastic. Um, you'll see now crab and crab theme things uh, permeate through all things at Ivan. Uh, examples of that, like our um, schema registry, uh, our open source schema registry for Kafka is named Carapace. Uh, the project that is our governance tool is called Claw. Um, internally at Ivan, we refer to ourselves as a cast of Ivaners. Uh, if, like me, Mitchell, you're unaware of what the collective noun for a group of crabs is, I can tell you it is cast. <laughs> I learned that when I came to Ivan. And so we see this uh, across all the time. I think it gives us a, a really sort of fresh and playful take on what a modern SaaS business should be like. And, and I personally really love it. Absolutely. Yeah, what a great story. Well, look, again, thanks so much for joining us today, Troy, and we really look forward to hearing more from Ivan uh, and you guys in the future. I look forward to talking to you again, Mitchell. Thanks for the time.